My name is Ruby and this is going to be a vlog about when I went to Progreso, Mexico during the COVID pandemic and when it was in its full effect. So I completely forgot to record an intro. That's why I'm doing a voiceover here. You're going to see that me, my boyfriend and my mom all went to Progreso during the COVID. So you're going to see a lot of different things. Now they were requiring masks. I heard that they were finding people who weren't wearing masks. The businesses were actually having to follow certain protocols in order to open up. This was actually June 14th was the first day that salons and such things like that had opened. We had come several times before and everything was closed. It was actually super spooky. Never in my life had I seen Progreso so quiet and eerie it was insane all the shops were closed there was maybe two vendors now in this video you're gonna actually see that the ambiente was kind of back you know the ambiance the the music and the vendors were out already but yeah it was still kind of weird compared to all the previous times that i've gone before so you're gonna be able to see that for yourself now i know as of right now they're saying that they might close it off again because the Mexican government is saying that they no longer want American tourists in Mexico. So as of right now, they might be closing. But here you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Enjoy the video. first crossed over we noticed that there was this new little machine so basically it's saying welcome but it's spraying you with what I'm assuming is a disinfectant and you're gonna see that there's gonna be a lot of vendors selling masks which is awesome because we ended up buying some ourselves as you can see there was a good amount of people but if you go and look at my previous uh, vlog from Progreso which I will be linking below you're gonna see that this is nothing compared to the amount of people that are usually here in Progreso around this same time of the year it is basically empty in my other video you can see that we couldn't even walk Seriously, check out all that toilet paper. Honestly, a lot of the shops were stocked full of toilet paper and Germex. Here you're gonna be seeing me actually walk into the salon. Now, in order to go to the salon, they have to unlock the door. They have to spray off the bottom of your shoes and you have to wipe them on the little carpet. You have to apply Germix and they do check your temperature. So you can see here that in order to get a pedicure, every other chair is not occupied. And in between each section, there is like um, a railing with PVC pipe and plastic covers to keep everyone distance and separated sorry you're gonna see my feet i was in desperate need of a pedicure but honestly this salon made me feel super clean and secure and i was in no way worried we actually ended up eating at a restaurant called the red snapper i really suggested it was super delicious we were really happy that we were finally able to go to a restaurant and sit down and eat because the previous times that we'd had gone and I wish I would have recorded or at least taken pictures, restaurants were not allowed to have clients eating there. 
So it was takeout only, and even the carts selling like the tacos. They even have like tacos de barbacoa in the morning. Had signs saying that you had to take the food. So the previous time that we had gone, we had gone gorditas, and we had to walk away from the carts and eat it standing up in the middle of the street because if the vendors got caught selling food and having the people eating there, their clients, they would get a citation. So here we finally got to sit down and enjoy some delicious food. Me and Rene ended up getting some enchiladas and they were delicious. And my mom got like a seafood platter. It was super yummy. cheese emoji if you eat your enchiladas with crackers or is that just a Tex-Mex thing because I had a co-worker see me eat enchiladas with crackers at work and she was freaking out because she was born and raised in Guadalajara and she said that she would never eat her enchiladas with crackers and I remember doing this my entire life it's honestly the best combo We were told that masks were required and we saw that a lot of the vendors did not have them on so we went and asked, hey, why are we required to wear masks and not you? And they let us know that for them, they, let, they were notified that it was not required but whoever was visiting had to have the mask on and that they were giving citations up to 500 pesos. Here, you're gonna see that we hit the jackpot. My aguas frescas were finally open. We had gone two or three times before and they were closed because a lot of the restaurants had to follow the protocol of it being takeout only. And for some reason, I'm assuming that the owners of the agua frescas did not feel secure enough to open, but finally they were open and I got my agua de melon. I was super happy. Here, you're gonna see that we're actually crossing back already. There was one advantage and that was that there was no line. Now, I'm honestly telling you, I think we waited about 10, 15 minutes in line. You're talking to someone that has waited two plus hours in line to cross back. So this was amazing. Now on the floor, you can see that there are actually taped lines, which are the social distance six feet apart. And you can see where the line is normally at because that's why they would put the tape. So you can see it's actually walking up to the building now. If any of you are locals, they actually opened the new facility already. This area did not have any AC. This building was super hot. They just had fans. And now they have AC, which is awesome because it was burning hot this day. And you're gonna see that we are separated by our six feet and we easily crossed over in no time. You can see that the cars are in line but it's moving and it's fast.
we just crossed over and um, props to all the essential workers because we were just in Progreso for four hours wearing our masks at 94 degrees and man, it is hot. So yeah, we crossed over. I wish I would have recorded the last time that I went, like in the beginning of June, ending of May. That was literally like scary. Everything was closed, like complete opposite of what you're gonna see in the video. Like I think maybe two or three businesses were open right now. The ambiente is kind of back in progreso. Like the atmosphere is getting up there again. Like the party kind of uh, very alive. And uh, although things were kind of slow compared to the other video, but things do look way better. So we were in Progreso because Rene is getting his braces done over there and we've been going once a month. So it is picking up. They are taking a lot of precautionary measures. They're cleaning very frequently like in the salon. As soon as the lady next to me got up, they started disinfecting with Clorox and I don't know what, like you smell it. Super clean. My pedicurist was awesome. Her name was Marlene, so I really recommend her if you guys are interested. But yes, thank you for watching my video and keeping updated with how Progreso looks during the quarantine. So yes, thank you for watching my video and please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!